We're going to turn now to our next guest who's helping people find the root of their unhappiness by using social media to their advantage and inspiring them to be their most authentic selves. I love this. Yes. She is an award-winning journalist, media coach, and best-selling author of her debut book, Unfiltered, How to Be as Happy as You Look on Social Media. Please welcome Jessica Abo. Jessica, thanks for being with us. And, and I appreciate this because this is exactly how I try to use social media to inspire and to be inspired, not to compare and despair, as I guess they, they say. But we all know it comes with pitfalls, and it is hard sometimes to see others and not compare yourself. You uh, are an award-winning news anchor on New York One, and you say actually your job in the media has helped you navigate social media. Tell us how. So I now live in LA, but I spent 10 years at New York One, and I'm sure this has happened to you too. People, when they see you on the air, they say things like, you live the most picture-perfect, glamorous life because we see you behind the anchor desk. We see you cover really amazing assignments like Fashion Week. And I would say to people, yes, I do work in the land of TV news but that's only a small part of my story and you only get to see me be camera ready. So I started to see people when they were consuming social media more and more, use that same sort of rhetoric. And it didn't matter if I was wrapping up an interview or training a media client, someone who was at the top of their game in their 50s and 60s, people often think this is a teenage issue. They would say things like, I can't sign on to social media anymore. It makes me feel so depressed. It makes me question every life decision I've ever made. And I wanted this book to be a place where people could get to the root of their rut and take back their happiness. And, and Jessica, I, I'm curious because I, I love uh, what your part of your book title is, How Can We Be As Happy As We Look on Social Media? What is your advice to do just that for everyone out there? So I think the first thing is to know happiness really comes from inside you, opposed to what you're going to learn outside on social media. So don't be afraid to unfollow, snooze, or mute those accounts that just don't make you feel good. If you go on social media and it's a place that it makes you feel better, that's great. But if it's the place that makes you feel bitter or inadequate, or like you're just not enough and you can't get ahead, then this is the time to flip the script. Move those apps away from your home screen and put them in a folder further down your phone. Delete them from your phone. So you actually have to log into each platform you wanna use to actually ask yourself, wait a minute, am I just bored or do I really wanna spend my time going down this rabbit hole? And consider making rules for yourself like today and only today I'm not going to take my phone in the bathroom or turn off alerts so you're not distracted by putting your, your phone on airplane mode and do not disturb. One of the things I learned when doing research for the book is half the time that we respond to our phone, it's because it actually was ringing or dizzing. But the other time we pick up our phone because we think that it might be dinging. We think it might be buzzing. We think it might be going off. And actually there's nothing there. So we're responding to a phantom buzz and ultimately we're just, we're just losing time. We're just wasting time. <laughs> all right, Jessica Abel, good to see you. Thank you so much. We hope to see you down the road, all right? Yeah, sounds good. Stay safe. And the book is Unfiltered, How to Be as Happy as You Look on Social Media. It's available everywhere that books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.